Time of year again. I feel like it's year round though. Time yeah. for allergy <laughs> sufferers to fall victim to those spring allergies. And when it comes to uh, getting treatment from your doctor, it can require some painful tests. Haley Hernandez is here with a new, better option. Good morning, guys. You're right. In Houston, we have to think about this all the time, but it does peak a little this time of year. And one of the most popular way this, ways that doctors get true allergy test results is by doing skin tests. Those can be very itchy and uncomfortable, or you can draw blood. But now there's a new test that can identify more than 100 allergens and it's as simple as a finger prick. I wanted to bring her in because she had been having some reactions. Two year old Mia is the daughter of someone working for Allergy oh. Pro. So when she started to show signs of allergies, they wanted this test. Dr. Janet Pate with Nurture Pediatrics in Bel Air says until now, the only proven allergy tests were to draw blood or do a scratch test, which can be very uncomfortable and irritating to kids and parents. Plus, they each only test for 14 allergens. We're going to try to figure out why you keep getting that stuffy nose. The new test method is only a finger prick, the Allergy Pro blood test. With these four drops, Dr. Pate says she can confirm up to 120 allergens. Skin testing is still the gold standard. Sometimes this is a screening test, and if a child's had a recent reaction to an allergen, you can get some very crucial data to help find the root cause for their allergy. Causes that can fall under these 70 environmental allergens or 50 food allergens. No crying, no tears, and she, this is a world of difference, I think, between home. both. Hi, hi. That was amazing. <laughs> she did great. She did do great. She's just two. And for Mia, her results are already in. She actually has no allergies. The doctor says her symptoms were from recurring respiratory problems. Now, if the test did reveal atypical allergens, then Dr. Pate says that she suggests that kids see an allergist. Yeah, definitely. Sometimes the best part about it, honestly, is ruling out allergies. Mm -hmm. Right. And so for my son. Yeah. yeah. And so why do the whole skin test when they were able to do it with a finger prick? I mean, for sure. her, that was the best case scenario. Yeah. So it's a lot to go through for these little ones. For right. Sure. Yeah. Glad to hear it. Yeah. And they, it is available at um, there's two other locations like Jackson and the Woodlands. I already have the story up on click Houston.com with the link to the and there is there an age at all at how young they can test them or so uh, Dr. Pate says over six months okay. old, but you really have to be about a year old when you're exposed to solid foods, you know, to, yeah. to have really exposure to allergens. Yeah, exactly. And know um, that you're having a reaction to something. So about a year old, you can start doing tests like this for sure. All right. Good to know. I yeah, know a lot info. of folks around here mm. suffer from allergies. Exactly. Well, so rough here and our season is so long. In